Hello, good evening, and welcome to the stream. Yes, indeed. We are here. Does we have transcoding and all the other good stuff? Have we got proper resolutions? We do, and all the good things are working. Fantastic. Very quickly, then, let's do a bit of social mediaizing has an email dun 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 <laughs> and I think that's all the social mediaing done. Closing everything else. Yep, there we go. Everything done. Fantastic. Right, I've got an email. I know not where it's from or whatever. Let's go to the live screen. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Let's see. from for your multi melee <laughs> thank you very very much i do have one i also have a over full inventory no surprise to anyone whatsoever yes that i have a full inventory yeah thank you very much i think i already have one of those what how much is that one at? it's another 50 yeah i've, I've got one on my mule but much appreciated We'll put it in the bag of win there. <laughs> Thanks very much. I do possess one of those. But yes, okay, so the stream's all working. I would appear to look as though I am actually alive on the stream. That's usually a good thing. I think. Do I look alive? mostly alive mostly alive will have to do grabbing dailies why not Now, last time, which was Wednesday, we were talking about doing, uh, getting on with things and, and uh, upgrading implants and such, and trying to decide which ones we were going to do, as well as doing a Dio run. Mihalik, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Talk to the Arbiter. <laughs> What's up, beaches? Uh, the tide, apparently, at the moment. <laughs> what did I buy? I bought a couple of implants I was thinking of doing. I was thinking might do them this evening, I don't know. And then I remembered we are a little behind on the old research. And if we look at that now, you can see some of these have not even started. Sensitive negotiations. Psycho mod, okay. Psychic, useful. Sense imp, useful. Adult deaf. Psycho mod, psycho mod. Psychic again, yeah. There's a load of research I should get done. Critical increase for five at the bottom there, and that's got to get done. I can now finish Apotheosis 9. A high enough level for that. But it's not until Apotheosis 10 we get an extra 30 to the multi. Door to door salesman. Agility. I'm okay on agility, but I am there. Agility again. St 
Strength for 20. Useful. Stamina 25. Yeah, there's a few there that probably should have done. I for a deal. Max Nano. Trade skill. Max Nano. Max Nano. Nah. Fast talk. Stamina. Body dev. Max health. Stamina again. Yeah, there's a few in there definitely that should get done. We we need to get those done. Savik, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Bum bum. The heartbeat you hear when you enter. Right, let's get this. Freelancer Zinc. Goodbye. Savik, welcome to the stream. ITO Derry, welcome to the stream. All right, I picked all those up. Uh, still need room. Good God, I'm just carrying too much stuff around here. Hello, bass. <laughs> Savik is a fish. No, it's not true. I see, see. My frame rates go to die. <laughs> you type bass. So it's either a four string lower register guitar like instrument or a fish. No difference in the English spelling. Yeah, I learned a trick about. Um, I'm going to use my bank and put some bags away and buy new bags. And then regret it massively later. My frame rate's not brilliant today. Done something silly. Right, let's see now. <clears throat> Lots of useful stuff, but none I need right this second. Alexander gives me full automatic targeting and <laughs> RRFE right before I shoot off to Shadowlands to get a dojo. <laughs> uh, all kinds of cool stuff in there. I got this right at the beginning. I got a, a new barbecue pillow, max quality one. So all that to come. What was it you were saying I needed to equip, but maybe not immediately, but ultimately for crit. All the crit. Was it that? No, that's dragon flesh armor. Okay. I think it was the DB covering. If you start with prisoner, my alts could use it. Okie dokie. Shannon, welcome to the stream. Shadow. Good stuff. Zoop AO. Hello, wise wolf of Rubicar. Oh, wise white wolf of Rubicar. How the devil are you? I'm okay. I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling the love. Also feeling kind of warm and humid still. It's a lot cooler than it was last week, but yeah. Andy C Spray. Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday. Indeed, it is the Friday. Has we all got the Friday feeling? Are you feeling the Friday feeling? I kind of am, kind of not. Bit of a mixed bag, I think, for me, the Friday feeling. I don't know. Feeling the love. <laughs> what is is me again. At your service. Uh, I will have me some diseased prisoner. Thank you very much. Let's blitz across. 
the quick way and see if we crash. We probably will. Now I've said it, you see, I've said it now. I have jinxed the whole thing. And then I've lagged because who, who doesn't like lag? You said crash and I crashed. Oh God. Osfall. Hi Carl. I saw your MA trader videos and I think you're missing the one trader heal. Nano subprime vitality mortgage. Is it one of these maybe? don't know I haven't got it anyway uh, by the way it's nice to see other weapon options indeed yes it is otherwise it was PDKPs in an X, X9 <laughs> lag crash go to Rome yes random tells not that I mind Robert Lex hey Missing all sorts on this tune right now. Uh, what was the other guy? From, from yesterday. It was offline. As are you. <laughs> Duncan, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How the devil are you? Boom. Boop, boop. All the great music people. I have the sound of I'm like, wait, what? I'm doing well. Thank you. I hope the same can be said for you. At the moment, yeah, I could do with a haircut and probably a bit of a beard trim, to be honest. You join Republica's team. I, uh, oh, I do. I don't think I could have timed that any better. That was just in time. Yes, it was. Well, I think I'll go and get a doja. Because, well, you know, sorry, Mihalik, that was like turned up and the mob was on the last bubble. What am I going to do? Um, we can always go back and kill it again. If you Have you got new tunes you're working on, Mihalik, or something? Or Well, you saw it, didn't you? It was like... Is the prisoner up? He is! <laughs> he is also being very squished at the moment and almost dead, so. The vest at damage. Tuanang, trader and doctor. Yeah, well, it's not like they couldn't do it anyway. <laughs> Ain't no how a 209 dock and trader couldn't 
demolish the, the prisoner. <laughs> did they increase the spawn rate? I don't think they did. I don't, it doesn't feel any different if they did. I mean, it literally feels exactly like it always has done. I wonder why they're killing those. Andy C Spray, double cheer for 200. Thank you very much. I was expecting a message, but there wasn't one. <laughs> but thank you very much anyway. Yes, if you write a message when you do a bits donation, Brian, Brian will read it out for you. Brian is the auto text to voice uh, thing that, that's built into Streamlabs. <laughs> He's quite funny. He mis he mispronounces certain words that aren't real words because they're in a video game, but yeah. And, you know, anything remotely not a British word, British being what, 29% French, 24% German, 18% Latin, and then God knows the rest is just... Well, it's not actually French, is it? It's, it's Norman from William the Conqueror. So the hack for British people to understand written French words is if they start with an E, replace it with an S. If there's a vowel with a little hat over it, put an S in front of it, because there used to be one, but it's not pronounced anymore, so it's been removed, and they've just left a little, little gravestone over the top of the vowel to let you know there used to be an S. And then G-U means just replace it with a W and then try and read what's in front of you, and it, it won't be completely correct but it'll be like close enough that you go did you mean <laughs> you know what i mean the three the three hacks were pretending you can understand french when actually you don't speak it at all but that's that's the thing english is not only originally 29 28 percent french but also went back and borrowed more french words later on anyway from modern french and modern German. So. Yeah, when, when the, the original, the Normandy invasion, the, William the, the Conqueror was basically a Viking or something. I can't remember the exact history. It's something like that. We're into history lessons again, aren't we? We did this last time, but yeah. Like, Sabi, you can speak French, right? As well as about a bazillion other languages, because you're, like, clever and paid attention and, <laughs> and everything else. So the French for forest is... what is it? it do, the, the, tr the hack doesn't work on a lot of modern words. Works best on, like, old sort of words, you know, words that have been around for a very long time that we still use. Like house and, you know, woman and <laughs> fish. <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, what's the French for forest? Because if you apply the rule to it, it literally spells forest. Or it's close enough to forest that you'd read it and go, do you mean forest? Like auto spell check would go, did you mean... <laughs> I have the feeling there are more Sonfoss around. There could be. There could be. Now, there was a video about it. I remember it from school. It was like how to get through your O-level French kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, there was a video about it. I thought, oh, I thought that was just a, you know, school thing. But no, nope, it's a thing. It's not, I don't think it's taught in school anymore. Yeah. Because you just replace the X. Because the French no longer use the S in the word. Yeah, so for it. So you've got a vowel with a little hat. Little tombstone to the little S that used to be his friend. So you put that in front of it. Or after it, rather. And you've got forest. For it becomes forest.
What's the French for squirrel? I'm looking at all animals turn into French words when you kill them. Beef, pork, venison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kinda, yeah. Why am I getting hit by these gimps? What's going on? Yeah, so skull, school, yeah. So they've evolved, but you get, you can look at it, the word, and kind of guess it probably means that or something similar. Mm, what? Man, what? Man Jane N 93 has followed. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, what's French for squirrel? A Finnish line, so uh, would that be in Finnish? Would be so the J is more like a um, J. So Majanin, Majanin, or oh, Majanin ninety three. Is that close? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it's like nowhere close. Yay! Oh, oh you don't know those French words. Fair enough. Fair enough. You actually said oh, that was a wild guess. And it comes from playing AO for 20 years with lots of lots of people from the Nordic nations. Finnish, Swedish, Norwegian, Dutch, Scandinavian, etc. All wonderful people who all correct me how I say their name. Um <laughs> I know how this is spoken, but I don't know how it is spelled. Yeah, this is it. It's it's a kind of a life hack for trying to guess French if you're English speaking. But it, it's, you know, it's like if you typo, if you put how long does the French word for squirrel live following those rules, Google will go, did you mean squirrel? Nice beard, I'm jelly. I think I'm about 10% Nordic. I think it's this bit. Maybe the brow. Well, that could be Neanderthal, I don't know. 100% <laughs> Santa, yes. Nordic Santa for the win. What products are you using? Um, just ignore that you have a beard and let it do whatever it wants. I want a hairbrush, occasionally. <laughs> I don't put anything in it. It gets washed with shampoo when I wash my hair. That's it. Nothing else. Fresh air. <laughs> it's just literally that's what grows out of my face. Beard, no. No beard all, no nothing. Uh, I wash my hair about three, four times a week. So it gets a bit of shampoo then, that's it. I don't even bother with conditioner when I wash my hair. <laughs> I just grab the shampoo. And I don't even know which, what it is. I just look and go, yeah, it says shampoo. Occasionally I grab Mrs. Kalos 2 shampoo and I get really shiny, <laughs> very white hair. Her good shampoo brings out all the uh, grey hair. I tried beard, beard oil once and it became a thing. Yeah, there's nothing in it. It's just how it grows and whatever my skin puts on it. Whatever the hell that is, I don't know. What they call you, sebaceous glands or something? I don't really know. I'm not, you know. I'm sure I did something about it in school once, but, you know, God. School was a very long time ago. In fact, university was a very long time ago. I've seen beard oil on shelves and thought, do I need it? And, you know, apparently not. 
So. I think I'm just genetically lucky. I think I just naturally grow a thick beard, so. And I usually naturally sleep on my sides. Maybe that keeps it. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm guessing at things now. I don't actually know. Beard oil. Oh, it, no, it's curly anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's not curly curly, but it's definitely. It's puby. A kind of a word? Yeah, so <laughs> it probably is. Yeah, I don't I don't want it going any curlier than it is. It it does have a the hair is wavy. But my, my head the hair on my head's wavy normally. Beard oil softens the beard. That's quite soft. You can probably paint a wall with it. But, you know, I'd say it's quite soft. The no itch part. It doesn't itch me. The only time beards itch me is when they're growing. And they're about that long. And they're about that long, then they itch. But only in that crease... You know, from your jaw to your throat. Other than that, it doesn't bother me. Once it gets to a certain length, it doesn't itch there anymore. You don't know. I don't. I don't. I just decided to to let. I've always had very thick facial hair, um, and normally I would always always shave, but I would get you know like expensive decent razors, and I'd go through them couple of days and they're, they're not doing anything and they're like nearly blunt because uh, I think there's a lot of follicles there um, and that was that was me for you know since I was about what when did I start shaving about 13 12 13 ish I needed to shave um, and then pretty much and once or twice I think I had a little goatee a couple of times you know just for the lols as you do when you're young um, which was quite a cool sort of a thing. Never really stayed with it. And then, well, three years ago, so I wonder if I'll just, you know, I, I kind of decided to stop spending all that money and just use hair clippers with, with no guard on and just leave it, you know, designer stubble kind of thing. And then one day I just thought, I'll just see what it's like when it grows through and grow it out for a couple of weeks and see and then I, I quite liked it so well it looks all right and then you know, on and off I've let it grow to different lengths and then cut it back cut it back to nearly nothing in last summer because it was hot <laughs> so I got the I put the biggest guard on the clippers and just cut it back yeah and it's just grown since then I kind of trim the tash at the bottom a little bit now and again, just so I can eat without eating my own <laughs> face hair. Otherwise, you end up biting off bits of your face hair. Not a good, not a good thing. Then you end up like carrying your dinner around on your top lip with you. So yeah. you wouldn't stop using it anymore. No, I might try it. I don't know. I mean, the wind blows it around. It's not rigid, rigid, but it is, you know, fairly tough, I would say. Fairly robust. What I definitely need is a haircut, though. Last time I had a proper haircut was before lockdown. <laughs> You know, when I went to an actual barber's or something. And then since then, I think I've just... Um, just used my own clippers on it. If you get food in it, it comes off much easier. Ah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, doesn't it get all over your pillows and things? 
don't know if I'd want that. It doesn't. Once it's in the fur, it stays there. Okay. Yeah, the wiping, the wiping of the fur off it sounds like a good plan. I bet I put my XP cans in the bank, didn't I? Yay, I am a smirt. That'll learn me. <laughs> Dear me. Yeah, I don't know that the, the spawn rate's higher, it's... Feels the same, I would say. Zizan, welcome to the stream, good to see you. Yes, we're contemplating doing the beaters. But I think we're a little too far behind on research to do them comfortably. Makes me think, actually. Should I not make a dent on some of these, like, hostile... Sensitive nef... Probably. While we're killing these, even at 10%, it's going to cap, isn't it? At least you've got the res cans. Yeah, they've been, they've been right there <laughs> since Saturday. I had a feeling in my water that I would need them <laughs> because it was a space quest event and oh boy did I need them. How the level changes the HP? What? You just create a tune, got l the leveling cans which I had in the account. They're one time use once claimed. I think once you claim them, that's it. You don't get you don't get them again. I don't think. I, you use them, right? Yeah, I got one once, thinking, oh, this will be useful on any new projects that I, you know, I'm not going to do a let build. Or they're just something I want to make and get on with. Uh, so I did it with one, and then on the next tune, I couldn't claim it anymore. Like if I go to uh, shop menu. Store. Claim items. Don't even know it's here. Heckler Juice level 100. If I click on that, it just says you've already claimed or something like that. I think, anyway. I'm not going to click it on this tune because if, if I claim it on this character, then... It's a no drop when you get it, isn't it? Meaning there's nothing I can do with it and I wouldn't be able to use it on this character because it would just say, your character is not below level 100. Therefore, you can't use this item. And you'd be like, oh, no, what a waste. <laughs> I use them, got to 100. The cartoon had 38 HP before and 650 after. Yeah, you gain... What, with the XP can? Well, yeah, because you're that many levels higher, aren't you? We could go to test live and just jump to the level anyway. HP only for leveling. Well, you, the maximum you can have is higher, I know that. We can check, We uh, let me get a dojo. We'll whiz over to test live and see what happens. Just make a quick character there, and then use auto to level up. That should be fairly quick, and then we can see. I think I did it once before. 
I went and built the character over there just to show them that no, they had no XP left in swimming. They were convinced that they had. I was like, no, you don't. Whether it was maxed or not, it's not in there anymore. Convinced it was only a function of body dev. Yeah, I kind of thought maybe it was. Body dev is a function of class, though, isn't it? But what feeds body dev is... Um, stamina, I think. Double check what I'm saying here. Yeah, so the colour of body dev, so its cost is um, governed by the class you choose. Uh, exclusively depends on stamina, yeah. So if you're an Atrox enforcer, let's say, then not only is stamina cheap, but body dev is cheap. So you always get more HP. Even the swimming cluster disappeared. The cluster isn't in the stores anymore, but you still find it. It's still on the loot table. You can still roll for it. Although, quite why you'd want to. I think some of them can change the requirement on an implant, like Matt Nav does. How much body dev gives depends on... On breed, breed and class, I think. Yeah, I mean, you still find random implants with swimming, map, nav, and, you know, that kind of stuff in them. Click save a swimming cluster, yeah. They're still on the loot table. They're not deleted from game, they still exist. I.e., if you had one from pre 18.7 you would still have the item they still exist and you can roll them in missions but i don't think they're in the vendors anymore they're not on the vendor lists but what is going on with the why no why no dojas how far you can raise body dev depends on your profession how much hp you get per body dev points depends on breed there you go so, yeah, it's a function of both. I know that. Like a nano mage NT has got not a lot of HP. A nano mage enforcer has more HP. His body devs a different colour, but they still don't have a lot because they're nano mage. Thanks, Sav. I was typing for two minutes. Yeah, trying to trying to put this, trying to make sense of how the how the logic function works in plain English. He's like, uh, uh. It is it is a bit much. HP is a function of level. Yes, we're going to test that theorem. Going to check that data. On good old test live. You will validate it since I just tested it. Oh, you just been to test live and done it. Takes less than five minutes to get out of the backyard and straight to um, auto, so. It's fairly quick to test it. Inferno doges are the worst. I disagree. Doges are the worst, but the worst doges, I would say, are Penumbra. Penumbra doger when you're level 203 or 204 is horrible because the mobs that drop them have become grey and run away from you, except for de demons of water. But I always find pen to be about the worst 
most of the others don't don't seem all that different some days with inferno it's first kill on a demon other times it's like you're here feel like you've been here forever and nothing's happening Every dojo should be like dark ruins. But you just collect hundreds of dojos and hand them all in. Have a different cooldown for each one. You can hand in a pandemonium dojo and a inferno dojo one after the other. Because they don't share the same cooldown. Which is nice. Worst dojos are the ones you can turn in right now. Seems like I find the pen dojo on 220 every second mob, yeah. <laughs> you keep finding the one you don't need rather than the one you do need. Yay, dojo! Hand on that and then let's switch the research from that to... What do I want to do? Sensible investment. Time space, yeah, we'll do we'll do that for the hand in. Oof. Yeah, I find doges when I don't need them more often than not. I remember during a panned run, I was looking for the you know the um I think it it was sense and treatment little hood items, little ones. Six of them is bloody useful though on Atrox. Um no, I was looking for those and I kept finding dojas and I was already like 220 max research so <laughs> it was like I don't need a dojo of any description I am maxed out so yeah it's kind of like eh. oh I found my XP cans that I should have had running while I was killing mobs but never mind there we go it's running now you can get a lap or, or the other special dojo on lower level. Yeah. There's a few you can get, yeah. Yeah, a lapper. Uh, the pen. Uh, panned. There's a panned one. There's another one in Alb, isn't there? I think you can get. Dark Ruins, a Lapper, and Owl, that's it, yeah. They have, I think they share a cooldown, but not with regular playfield ones. Ness, what? Ness A TV is now following. Thank you for the follow. Hey, Carlos, how active are the servers nowadays? Thinking about something again. Pretty busy, actually. Every time there's like a world boss or alien event, anything like that, you've got to get to that zone in a hurry. Otherwise, you're not getting in. It, the zone just fills and the server won't let you get in. And if you crash, you can't get back in until the server empty. That particular playfield server empties again. So it's busy enough for that. The guesstimate is anywhere from... A couple of thousand to up to four or five thousand but no one actually knows the only people that know is Funcom and they're not saying so nobody actually knows there's a few websites to try and guess but I don't think they're really massively accurate in in as much that um you know they they can do so much but I don't think they can tell if if people are paid subs or not like in with the um, world boss stuff that was over the celebrations there was no free game time um and it was pretty chocker but then on the alien events so when they're on rubicar you, if you're not there quick you can't get there at all so yeah it's kind of nuts right we're just going to do some um testing on test live for science very quickly, we want to see if level actually affects HP. The BBI 1000 is bloody good. If you, yeah, I switched from, I was melee on my ADV for 15 years and I switched for that pistol. 
as, as that and Mihalik twisting my arm, going, you've got to use this pistol. <laughs> Right, so I'm firing up the test live for fun. Hopefully Streamlabs will behave and pick up the client. Because my Alex says so. I was glad I did, though. As soon as I did, I was like, whoa, this is so much more damage. You know, and I had the Zan one-hand edge weapons before that. And it absolutely destroyed them. It was so much more damage. Yay, Streamlabs has found it. Right, I've got no slots there. Level test. I think that was a mule thing I did. He's in Andromeda. Right, let's, let's just... I don't think he's got... It doesn't matter, it's test live. Yeah. Fatty Foo, we're going to delete you, Fatty Foo. But don't worry, Fatty Foo, you're being reborn. Please select breed Atrox selected. Right, so there's Atrox, yeah. So we'll go with Atrox. Please choose your appearance. Please um, select a profession. No, 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 yeah, and... What was it? No, no mask, Karen. Yeah, that was funny. The uh, the live server went down, so we logged into test and just made a character for the lols. Um, <clears throat> so what were we going to test then? And we were going to test um, what the oh god, what was it? How much HP you've got uh, um, purely on level? Yeah. So if we go for enforcer. Enforcer selected. Okay. Please name your character. I'm going to call him... Fatty Fool. There you go, he's reborn. <laughs> I think he was an MA last time, though. If you don't spare any HP, any IP, and boost to level 200 and then compare. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Trying to keep all the plates spinning. Right, so we're not even going to sort out a GUI. Where I am. Just going to go full def. Right. Abilities. Haven't spent any, but that's what you start with. Body dev. The default is seven. Uh... Okay, GUI, control center, roll up mini toolbar, stats, right, so 60 HP, yeah? Where's the jump? Oh, it's this side. Savik the guy that made the map. No, Savik the lady that made the map. But yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I made that mistake as well. Oh, are you the guy that made the map? <laughs> no, I'm the lady that made the map. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Savig's map of Rubicar is the best map of all time for Anarchy Online. Because reasons. There you go. <laughs> so it's like me. She does it because she quite enjoys doing that sort of thing. And also it helps, you know, the game that we both love very much. So I make all these videos and streams because I kind of enjoy it. But also it helps people quite a lot. You pick up credit card. And boop. I 
we go. We've just stolen all the money. I made a plan to make it easier to level my next characters. Level Engi and MP at the same time. Ah! Gonna die before I even get out. Right. Von Hammond, I'm ready to leave. Nope, I don't. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. I'm willing to pay. Name your prize. I have the money. Whatever. Goodbye. Make I just had a horrible feel. I didn't disable XP gains and thought, what if I level before I leave? <laughs> just from completing that, we're going to have to delete them and start again. Sometimes watch Nave Zero stream is... Yeah, they're quite good, The um, those. It's not something I want to do. I, I keep trying to explain that I'm not good with following other people's rules. I follow my own. Struggle following other people's. Even if they're, you know, really fairly arrived at and everything else, I'm still like, no, I'm kind of a maverick. I kind of like to do my own thing. Sorry. Where's Auto? Uh oh. Where has Auto gone? Have I gone the wrong way? I thought he was over that side. This this testing is not going to work if we can't find auto. He's usually here outside the Mia shop, isn't he? No, don't say auto's failed to spawn. Why is it? Oh, no. <laughs> Why is auto not up? Uh, that's not good. Should be there. Why would he not be there? Well, fluff. There's no auto on the server for some reason. You can't even attack him, can you? So it's not like he can be aggroed and pulled away. Zinzig, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. There's no sign of him anywhere. Yeah, I'm sure he's usually over here, near the this corner. He's normally stood here. No, we can't test now. We haven't got auto to test with. That's kind of frustrating. Maybe zone just in case it's some kind of weird bug. Yeah, we're on the test live server. For some reason, we've lost. We've lost Auto 2.0, and we kind of need him because we were testing something that you would test with Auto. If you were sensible. No, Auto has failed to spawn. I always think of him as being here. By the tree. You can test just by dinging to level two. We can, we can. We wanted to see what happened when you went to 100 or so. Like somebody else did. Yeah, the mugger. That's what I'm going to do.
turn right. He is there. What? Are you sure? Where do you think you can see him now? So I was facing this way and you said turn right. I can't see him. I can see the agency thing. A bit more right. Forward. No, can't see him. Blondies, welcome to the stream. Where? I can't see him at all. I can see the mission hand in, guys, and the agency... Senior agency handler guy, but... Which way do you want me to go? North, south, east, west? Next to the girl in uniform. No, 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 no. Automated agency receptionist. Is that what you saw? Auto's about twice as tall and dark blue. That's not auto. He's normally over there near the abmouth guy. Yeah, I can. It, it's the same mesh, but a different, um, or the same model, but a different mesh. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, what do you start with? One hammer. Oh. All I've done is increased that. Yeah, we, we were going to test default HP when you level. The game is working against us. Because <laughs> uh, the... The NPC you used to auto level is not here. He should be, but he's not. No, oh, for f yeah. Yeah, not a new character. He'd be doing better than that by now. With testing, do you just automatically get more HP because you've leveled? Need a detail report for every level up to... Yeah, without putting anything into any other skill. Eh, probably not. Oh, I can't use these yet either. Painful... Have to increase first aid. No oh, and kill him. It's because I was faffing around not being able to hit him. So he was shooting at me for ages before I actually did any damage to him. He's going to kill me again, isn't he? Let's see.
Do you run out? I'll heal you. Yeah, but then he's just going to respawn, isn't he? This is what he did before. So stubborn you are. Yes. I'm, I'm willing to bet he's respawning each time I'm going in. Because his health's always back to full. I can't use the heal kit. I don't have the skill. We're, we're seeing what happens without any IP. The only thing I've IP'd is enough to put the weapon on. Improved complete healing. Didn't even get an improved weapon, so. Can't use your first aid. Now we can use the first aid. Oh. <laughs> now I can first aid you, you little git. first aid myself right <coughs> we're level one with no ip spent except just enough into two hand blunt to equip a weapon so abilities body and defense body dev current improvement zero and we have 60 hp so now we're gonna go to the lady who's lost a bag i found your handbag and we have the same amount of body dev and we now have 67 hp so yes you get more hp just for gaining a level even though there's no ip been spent I found your handbag. Glad I could help. Goodbye. There you go. So, yes. Close the window. No, it's not going to change that, is it? And open it again. Yep, exactly the same. Zero. Strength and stamina, zero, zero. Yeah, it's over here we're looking though. Nope. One more level, we got on like 12, 15% more HP than we had. 
something like 60 to 67, whatever that is, just over 10%. Would have been a damn sight easier if auto had been alive or visible somewhere. Now to test on all profs and breeds. Mm, doable, but no. I have no idea what's going to happen to auto. Who do we tell? Let me just see. I'm just asking someone who might be able to help. The test server <laughs> looks cooler. It was a lot cooler when Auto was there because you just went, pick a level, any level, got it. Pick an AI level, have it. Research, you want it all? All completed. Uh, would you like a full set of alphas and in between symbionts and a full set of betas to ladder into? There you go. You know, it's, and then any Zan weapon, uh, any full set of AI armor, etc. So, tons of other stuff, NCUs, and yeah. And that's what happens when you don't believe me. I didn't not believe you, but I wanted to test it. <laughs> yeah, the only person I can really ask is is not online, so. <clears throat> oh, you've still got to put them on, yeah. Good night all, says Savik. Thanks for the healing, Savik. <laughs> for coming on the stream. I realise it's a little late for you. Right, back to the live server. Right, are we going to Dio? Try and Dio this evening. Now, it's a Vic. DB3 farm. Fair enough. Yeah, the thing is, I'm not sure with... Um, doing whatever because I've already got max enhanced DNA up and I'm not quite there for quite a few bits and pieces could maybe get a couple of symbionts on but I haven't got them all together yet um, and I don't like trying to do it until I've got all of them together I know silly Look at the detail on the floor with NVIDIA sharpening. You have to use the older driver to get it. But I've seen no downside to that with a 3060. It works fine. You know, the latest driver isn't necessarily always the best driver, is something I've found. How many people are... LFT for all looking for Inferno missions. Mm, okay, nobody's looking for Dio, which is a shame. Maybe get it done tomorrow. Lady Sky Cannon, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Okay, well, we'll go back to Inferno and I'll get a bit more research done. What does Dio refer to? Dust it off. Oh, I haven't done four holes of graffiti and all that yet. Derp. Do that, hand in dailies, hand in the freelancer's ink, and then do that. With this many pleas, you can't get a Dio. 
I'm sure we could, yeah. I was just seeing if anybody was looking for it on LFT, and at the moment they're not. They're all looking for Inferno missions at this time of night. It probably means the players that are on have been on for a couple of hours and already done it. Is typically what it means, but yeah, we could maybe. We could maybe, but we need at least two people who are immune <laughs> to be able to do um, thingamy bob. Vortex at the very end. Oh, I got four holes graffiti. Okay. Yeah, so Dio is Dust It Off, which is a chain quest. Um, see it there. Dust It Off. So it's just become Dio, D I O. Talk to the warden as well. Spa 2112, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's an ICC quest. It's on three weeks out of four, I think. The, um, no, it isn't. Freelancers Inc. is three weeks out of four. Dio is once, once a month and supposedly for a, a week, but lately the freelancer arbiter guy who hands the quest out has not been spawning. And we have to kind of ask, can someone please spawn him he, and, and, and say things like, why don't you just leave him there? <laughs> you know, don't despawn him on a timer, just leave him on the server. And he can cycle through, because in one week he'll give you like an alien, um, like an alien super daily. Another week he'll give you um, a PvP. You know, do loads of BS, dailies, etc. So, I was wondering what the heck was going on. Yeah, in 2016, they introduced the Arbiter. Yeah, the off weeks. No, I don't get it either. Just, it's a thing. Besides giving players mild FROMO. What's FROMO? I don't know what FROMO is. Is it a rude word? Is it a derogatory term? I don't know. Fear of missing out. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> it's an acronym. Not one I'm familiar with, but okay. No, but yes, last year's anniversary event and suddenly he stopped spawning when he was supposed to, randomly. Do we have the alien event tomorrow? We do not. No, it was last Saturday we had it, so this Saturday we don't. bi-weekly for this year that's the real fromo yeah, where's the r though fear of missing out wouldn't it be fomo i don't, I don't know mission complete flag be gone oh fear of really missing out okay that works sometimes acronyms get an extra letter thrown in and it confuses me like, how is this still an acronym? Freelance is complete. Let's go hand that in. You typed FOMO the first time. FROMO. <laughs> Fear of not having an afro when they come back in fashion. I say afros never went out of fashion. And even my microphone's got an, got an afro. It's cool.
Yay. Right, so people that want to do <laughs> uh, Dio talk talk amongst yourselves, class. Form yourselves into a group. <laughs> no, we're not going there. Disco music in the garden. Slow jazz. There's a clip of one of my streams from quite a while ago. Um, that is that. I can't remember quite how it happened. We walked into the garden and just me and someone else and both of us were doing like a disco move for some reason with no idea why. Just some weird glitch. Keeps giving me this one. I'm not going to go there. Nope. Nobody goes there. Stop handing this mission out. Nobody uses it. They just keep going. No, give me these two locations. Nope. Now, what is Touch of Marius? There's a lot of cheering going on outside. Is there sporting going on? Yay, cave. Right, so for research, what do we want to do? I should just handle the mission, yeah. Yeah, Touch of Marius, if you don't know, I'll just share with the class. It was on a um, test server. So this is it. It doesn't exist in, on the server at all. GM level one, anyway. Uh, it gives you 800 to all base abilities, 2,000 to all skills. Every single skill for 2,000. 1,000 to run speed, 20,000 ACs, 2,000 to all trade skills, um, and 2000 uh, NCU. So the whole point of Touch, Touch and Marius was the GM would buff you with it so you could just go and get all your gear on straight away. And there's tales of it being used on the live server once by a naughty GM, <laughs> but more than that, I don't know. Yeah, dual wielding these requires 1550 and even with the perks spent 
into it we have 1303 so i do need you know more everything basically yeah on a test server where all the characters are going to get wiped and they don't interact with the you know um live player base it doesn't really matter it was like right we've got two days um here you go everyone just form a queue and i'll just buff everyone uh these vendors give you everything for free it was before they had things like auto but the buff meant you could get all your stuff from um <coughs> from auto and it instantly put it all on because you had the buff which was kind of cool a rubicar light i think i think we'll, i think we'll have some ray tracing and ambient occlusion while whilst we're in here Smelly Weaver, you are mine. I've got a lot of buffs running anyway, but hey. I can still drain you. I think I'm in the mood for some ray tracing today. Yeah, it's not like the NVIDIA ray tracing, but it is actually ray tracing. does effectively work in the same way but it doesn't use dedicated cores on your GPU to do it. it uses rasterization but on a 30 series card it's fine I have got a 3060 not a 3080 I wish I had a 3080 but it would be severely bottlenecked by the rest of my system But yeah, it barely affects the, um, the frame rate on old old titles like this. Like I can I can use it in like Portal, Portal Two, stuff like that. I've only got the DX9 version because you need to do a like a Patreon donation to get a beta of it. It's just one guy making it on his own. Quint he goes by, I think. Oh yeah, it's a good, I mean, I got it for a, you know, not far off list price earlier this year, May, um, and I'm, you know, I don't regret buying it. I mean, now for another 150, I could have got a 3017, does part of me wish I'd waited well, yeah, but I'm not going to cry about it, it's like, it's too late, it's done. And given that 99% of the time I'm playing Anarchy Online, I don't need all of that, you know? <laughs> you don't see the bad thing in... Yeah, if, I could, if I'd have had the money to buy a 3080, yeah. The new cards are just around the corner, but Nvidia's doing weird things at the moment. They're like they're trying to dump stock, but they're not going to reduce it to below what they want to sell it for, and they will hold back the 4000 series release until they've cleared their own inventory. So the the GPUs they've made, they'll sell to add in board partners before they'll release the new one because they don't want to be stuck with the old the old stuff. They're not daft, you know. We may think they are, but they're not. <laughs> you don't become a multi-billion pound corporation by being daft. I'll allow the effing on that one. I'm sitting here waiting for the 4000 series to build a new PC. Might just go AMD if they keep it. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't spend money on an AMD card now. 
NVIDIA are so far ahead, I don't think AMD can catch them. Well, Radeon can catch them. CPUs, AMD overtook Intel because Intel had deliberately sat on its hands for like 10 years. If Intel had got, you know, been trying to actually innovate and do new things and, and all that, but four years ago, five years ago, they were still saying, oh, no one needs more than four cores and just giving tiny incremental increases in IPC each generation and nothing else and charging a premium because they had no competition. They had no business motive to do so. These, these corporations do not care about you. <laughs> their marketing wants you to like them. Corporations don't care as long as you buy their crap. They don't care. Um, and then AMD came out and went, okay, here's an entry level six core with our version of hyper-threading and it outperforms for multitasking anything Intel make in that price bracket. And Intel went, oh shit, <laughs> started making six and eight core CPUs. Yeah, AMD, I mean, the cards are good. They're just too far behind now. I don't think they can catch NVIDIA. NVIDIA uh, hasn't been as... I mean, they have hung back, but they've not been as bad as um, Intel at, at going, <laughs> where else are you going to go? Um, you know, because AMD has, has at least tried to keep them a little on their toes. And has succeeded, but... Yeah, bang for the book. Maybe in some rasterization, but I tell you right now, it's all going to go Unreal 5 and ray tracing. And people going, oh, it's a bit gimmicky. No, people said that about rasterization. So oh, you don't need rasterization. Sprites were good enough for us. You don't need rasterization for a good game. And it's true, you don't. You don't need good graphics for a good game, but if you can have a good game and good graphics, you're going to buy it, aren't you? You know. Yeah, in Intel is still on their back foot. They're messing it up now. Well, they're mixing it up now going, okay, here's eight power cores and a bunch of lesser cores that can, with a good task manager, like you'd have to go to Windows 11 to really utilize it. The low power cores can be running Windows while the high power cores are doing all the other jobs or with a decent task manager like windows 10 doesn't really know what to do with the the what do, what do they call it p cores and d cores or whatever but yeah the the lower um tier car, uh, cores windows 10 doesn't really know what it's doing with them p and e that's it yeah that said i'm still gonna buy a a um <clears throat> an Intel CPU. I'd like an AMD, but Intel have pulled ahead again, so... People even buy good graphics without a game. Disagree. Cyberpunk at its core um, is brilliant. It's just they tried to do more than they could in less time than they had. That, that was the problem with Cyberpunk. At present, it's no less broken than Skyrim. In fact, it's less broken than vanilla Skyrim, but I mean, who the hell plays vanilla Skyrim anymore? Like, nearly nobody would play, play that. And modded up, you can make it look almost, you know, brilliant. I mean, there are race tracing mods for it. Now. Cyberpunk now is amazing. They've got mods like flying cars that work perfectly. Cyberpunk got a lot of shit, but it was nowhere near as bad as like 76 was or anything like that, which was just completely broken. Inherited all the broken bugs and stuff from Fallout 4 because don't forget, Bethesda never fixes the bugs. They, they just let the modders do it. But now I think they're they're being more cautious. After '76, they got a real bloody nose and lost a lot of good faith with that game because it was terrible. 
um, and the way the launch went. And I mean, have you seen the the fall of '76 by internet historian? Just brilliant. <laughs> Not sure if the they lost a lot of employees, did they? I don't think they did. They made millions off that game. It's still selling now. People love to hate it, especially media outlets. Hate clicks earn money, and it's much easier to get hate clicks than anything else. Hate, hate clicks are good business. So they made tons of money by people hating on Fallout 76 and went, yay, what is the next game? When's the next thing we can, we can get everyone hating at? A lot of that hate bandwagon. Well, the hate wagon? I don't know what you'd call it, but there's a lot of that went on. Oh my God, it's the worst thing ever. Click here for our article on why... Blah, 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 and it's just a load of shit. We've had, yeah, we have. Because uh, people keep mentioning it. And I keep going, well, uh, here's what I think. I mean, everyone went, oh my God, No Man's Sky is the worst game in the world. And yet, No Man's Sky, massive redemption story. It went from... I mean, there's a good uh, internet historian video on that as well called The Engoodening of Yes Woman's <laughs> Land or something like that. <laughs> um, but it's all about, the, you know, the, the whole story of No Man's Sky and why it was so bad. And it's because of the way the media report it. They knew they couldn't deliver what they did. Sony put them on the PlayStation Store, etc. And price dictates expectation. You know, they were going to just release it as a little indie game for 20, on, 20 quid on Steam. And then Sony picked them up and they couldn't turn it down because that's a lot of money. Yada, yada, yada. Lots of things happened. Uh, oh, God, I found, I found our familiar already, but I don't need him yet. But instead of, you know paying any attention to it they just went okay let's just see what people are actually complaining about rationalize it and start fixing it and since then they've introduced more things to the game than they ever ever promised they released a vr version for free if you already own the game <coughs> bethesda um you know yeah no man's sky is a brilliant game now they, they said, okay, yeah, we get it. Nothing we say is going to help. We're just going to fix it and tell you as about the fixes as we go. At one point, there was nothing but news articles saying um, whatever the name of the company was. They're saying, oh, they, they've taken the money and run. You know, um, and it wasn't the case. They just went, let's just get on with working on it. Well, they didn't hype it. It wasn't him that did it. And I think the observation internet historian makes about it is, is accurate. If you really boil it down, if you look at the character of the man, he's not a PR guy, right? Totally not a PR guy. He's, you know, he's a keyboard jockey. He's a coder and a self-made man. He left a, a perfectly good job to start up his own company, you know, so took a risk, started up. But then after Sony picked him up, they put him on this huge skyscraper tall height um, skyscraper. And then every interview he did, he hated saying no to people. You can see it. In hindsight, you can see it. Will you be able to do this? And is that all his answers are like, well, at the moment you can. He's like, I don't want to say no. He didn't want to say no to people. That's all. He's an introvert. He doesn't. He doesn't like the sensation of being controversial and, and whatever. So when they say, oh, can, will you be able to do this or this? He's like, maybe you could. And then, but the way the media reports are, confirmed, this, you know, is going to be in the game. It's gospel. Because they want to sell a new story. They want to make money. Not because they, you know, want to report facts. No, they just want to make money. And you make money by reporting things that are catchy headlines and get people on your website and run ads on that site and make a living. You know, that's what happens. But yeah, watch The Engoodening of Yes Woman's Land or whatever it's called. 
What I really miss, okay, is the game was due to come out soon um, and there'd be a demo of it on a magazine and you could just see if you liked it. And if you liked it, you know, all good, you liked it and you could muck around and play with it a bit, see how it ran on your system. Real journalists would go, oh, okay, let's let's see what we can find with the beta and remember it's not final uh, with the demo. Where the hell are all the mobs? Yeah, do you remember that? PC Gamer Monthly. 27 games on this week's DVD. You know. That used to be great. You know, you that was brilliant for consumers. And when the game released, it was on a disc and that was it. That was the game. None of this, you know, day one patch that's the size of the game. <laughs> yeah, No Man's Sky is a redemption story. They straight up lied about that game. No, 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 not quite. They didn't outright lie. They just didn't want to say no to anyone. Simple as that. I can see it in his interviews. You know, you get a read on people, don't you? You can tell when someone's a blatant liar and when they just don't like being in any way confrontational and are uncomfortable. There is a difference. It's subtle. It can read as dishonesty, but it's not. So it's a weird one, I know, but trust me on this. There is a difference. It's difficult to pick up. You've got to... I guess it's experience will teach it you, but yeah. Some people would rather lie and say yes or suggest that you're correct rather than say uh, no. They don't want to say no to you because saying no is kind of confrontational. And the guy didn't want to be in those interviews. He wanted to be back at a computer working on his game. That, that's what he was happy doing. He didn't want to do any of this other stuff, you know? I, I, it's like the it's kind of a lie but not in the same way a con man lies you know will you be able to do this will you be able to meet your other people in the game well, technically you could but you know <laughs> that was his answer technically you could headline play with your multiplayer confirmed Trumpets, klaxons, you know, it, the, the, the media just go fucking nuts with this stuff. And then blame the people they're misreporting on, which I find bloody incredulous. No, they didn't say that. Your article said that. What they actually said was, you know, I'm heading out to booze it up. Have a good night, Mahalik. Drink responsibly. <laughs> but have fun. Yeah, I think expectations were overly high on Cyberpunk. And I think if they'd had another two years, they could have given finished the game off to what they wanted it to actually be, but they just couldn't do it. They took they they tried they were like so convinced of their probability of successfully doing what they, they'd set out to do because of the success of Witcher 3 that it didn't occur to them that a lot of the success of Witcher 3 is it was the third game they'd made around that game world you know around those characters so they were, they would kind of you know it was like try number three you know for this game so by then they knew a lot about how to build and develop that particular world whereas cyberpunk this is their first try he purposefully painted a vague picture he just didn't want to he didn't want to say no to people will you be able to do this yeah well is what he said he went well you kind of can but he knew some people would just go no you're a liar i hate you nothing you say is going to change that end of some people are going to do that. So he just didn't try and get into it with them. He just went, okay, we're just going to fix it. 
we're going to finish the game the way we wanted it to be in the first place and just leave it that saying sorry nope won't help say nothing just get on with it and that's what they did nothing else they could do because whatever they say there'd be a, a big enough percentage of people who go you lied and nothing they say or do is going to change that opinion so don't even try to that that's what they decided to do and then they started looking at the data and going okay how many of the people that are saying stuff have actually played more than an hour okay let's let okay everyone that's played more than an hour anybody less just discount that into a different subcategory and then he just categorized everything that people complained about or didn't like or said was boring or stupid and then just work through each one of those fields you know just logically and methodically until everything got done yeah it's a redemption story he, he's a young guy he's not some you know spin doctor blob you know like like todd todd howard doesn't do anything you know <laughs> it's like when what you know he's he's kind of like people think todd howard makes skyrim and he's like well <laughs> kind of doesn't <laughs> it's like the, there's a, a big group of people that every time eso which is made by zenimax who used to own bethesda um every time they do anything with um eso People are like, oh my god, just why don't you shut up and stop this crap and just make Elder Scrolls 6, you know? And there's nothing to do with them, they don't make that game. <laughs> Bethesda Softworks make that game. The way the company is broken up into different departments and into different companies is very confusing, clearly, because people don't get it. Yeah, but they were like a 20-man crew made that game. They didn't have a marketing department. They didn't have a PR department. They had the guy who is, owns the company and, uh, okay, we'll talk to him. That, that's literally all they had. They had nothing else. They were like the tiniest little group of people. It's not like a room with 200 devs in it and then a board with, with executives in it. It was just like 20 guys making a game. That was it. Nothing else. Yeah, to I mean, even with all the um, kerfuffle about Fallout 76, which apparently is a lot better now, but I still don't want to play it. It just doesn't seem like the kind of game I want to play. Online games for me are like this. They're like Anarchy Online. That This is what I like. I don't like the, the paid live service games. I hate them. I just don't like the way they work. I just, no. You know. But you think of it, you, you run a 20-man company, you've got your third mortgage, you know, the second mortgage on your house invested in it, your whole life savings, everything. If it doesn't work out, you've got nothing. And then Sony say, we want you, we, we're going to pick up your game. Um, who's going to market it? Can you send a marketing guy? And they're like, oh my God, this is, this is going to make me or break me either way. Um, the only person we've got like the rest of the guys are just coders as well like i ain't going over there and he's like well you're the boss you go and that that's what happened he's like uh, okay i'll do it and then being completely out of their depth in in interviews you get your fallout soon it's called starfield yeah i will buy starfield no doubt i'm not i'm not gonna be um like sat on my hands waiting to see if it's any good i think we're gonna know within 24 hours of release if it's any good or not you know what these uh, me the media will like sharks all trying to get their story out first and make money out of it um you know who who's gonna get to play it and release content about it and then you'll have um all the gaming media sites etc youtubers whatever they're all gonna have like five thousand videos on it for at least a month so we'll know all about it pretty quick 
10 things you didn't know about blah 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 noise 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 you know the usual before you buy gets very formulaic after a while though eh <laughs> will you do a let's play i might do actually yeah if it's good if it runs well enough yeah i didn't do a let's play of cyberpunk because i only had uh, a 980 so i did a seven hour stream of it that's on youtube and it's just basically me and slavic most of the time laughing our heads off uh daft little bugs and then a lot of the actual deliberate in-game easter eggs and things and just thought they were really cool and i thoroughly enjoyed it i played it for you know i've done six complete playthroughs with totally different builds because you can but other than different builds, there's not a lot of replayability in the game. I'll say that. Now, I look forward to seeing what else they DLC with it, you know. I know apparently you can find out what the, the, new, the next DLC is already. It's been leaked or something like that. But I don't want to know. You know, I'll wait till it's somewhere approaching ready and then have a look at it, you know. I'll get it. It runs a shit ton better on a 3060 than it does on a 980, I'll say that. In in actual performance, a 3060 is a, a better graphics processor, even on rasterization, than like a 1080 Ti. Um, although 1080 Ti is still a good card, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, when you play it and then turn the ray tracing on and see just how much more real it feels it's, it, on your own monitor screen not in you know compressed video when you see it on your own monitor screen it's like wow <laughs> this is something else metro exodus as well i played siljar russell welcome to the stream with a funny it's a little squirrel who's fast asleep and doesn't want to be bothered not hibernating or something, is it? They hibernate, don't they, reds? Oh, we've got nearly no red squirrels left in the UK. Uh, the grey squirrels are taking over. They came over. <laughs> what did my, my mate, he, was, he loves red squirrels, he said, bloody American tree rats. <laughs> He was joking when he said it, but yeah, I could see where he was like, those are lovely tufty-tailed red squirrels. You do see them, but you probably for every hundred grey squirrels you see, you see like one red, if that, you know. I'm lurking, Carl, about to slice and dice some aliens. Sounds like a plan. Yes, slice and dice the aliens. They deserve it. Do it. Do it. For 10 hours, do it. 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 <laughs> oh, turret. Any mobs near it? Nope. Gonna be fun. Playground with amazing setting and a bunch of bugs. Yep. I want a patch, day one patch, or mod, flying cows please. Uh, I want to start the game in a horse-drawn cart that flips around <laughs> in some <laughs> wild and crazy way. If you call random city raid fun, oh I do. If it's suddenly spawned then fill the uh, controller. The hackers will try to destroy it and end your raid abruptly. I mean, the, the video footage I saw of actual gameplay, the, the kind of shooting and whatnot, just kind of looked like, yeah, it's about as good as Fallout 4, maybe. It's not spectacular. Kind of looked all right, though. Got little jetpacks for extended jumping and stuff. It was kind of what I was expecting, you know. But I think maybe 
as I've got older, I've got better at managing my expectations. I never thought Fallout 76 was going to be all that. In fact, when the the day they announced it, um, everyone's going, oh, everyone went nuts. No, they really didn't. I remember watching that stream and I was like, the crowd's not digging it. The crowd are like, really? A live service for... Oh, I, no, I'm not on board for this. The crowd were like, okay, you know, like not really into it at all. And they did the oldest thing in the book for showbiz, which is, okay, they're not digging these numbers. Quick, fire up the old, you know, fire up the old favourites. Quick, Mustang Sally, Johnny Be Good, and then we're off the stage, all right? Okay. Yeah, there's no NPCs. It's live service. You know, that immediately rang alarm bells. Uh, and the, the whole... I mean, if they'd have made it more of a PvP game, it, I might have been into it, you know. But they didn't. Um, and they, they said nothing about <coughs> fixing all the issues they had with Fallout 4. And Fallout 4, if you don't use the unofficial patch, still has all those bugs. You get out of the power armor and the body mesh is still weird with giant hands and, <laughs> and like this, it just because of the way they, they did it. It just, you know, and that was still in the game. All the stuff that was broken in the original Fallout 4 is broken in Fallout 76 when it releases because they just never fixed it. And then they went nuts with God Rays, you know, God Rays coming out the ground and you know, wait, what? <laughs> I like I like God Rays, but they don't grow out the ground, Todd. <clears throat> yeah, the the applause wasn't really there, and then what do they do? They play out with um a teaser for uh, Elder Scrolls 6 which wasn't even a game at that point it was just a, a mock-up and a you know a flyover with a title that was it and that is quick play out quick play the old favorites we're losing the crowd here people were not excited for the game when they announced it I was watching it on stream with a big streamer and the whole chat was like oh no 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 I'm not into this well, I'm disappointed now. I thought we were getting some, you know, and ES6 is still not a game. No, it's not. Th that you are correct. It's still, it's what they're going to work on next after Starfield, but they're not working. They, they as a studio work on the old, you know, one game at a time. Because as big as they seem to be in actual manpower, I suppose, man, woman, person power. You know, in the actual amount of people working for them and doing stuff, they're not that big. They're really not. You know, so... They can't really do much more than a game at a time, you know? Yeah, it was a bit of concept art and a flyover, and that was about it. I'm going to have to run past this guy, and I don't want to... Oh, I made it past... That never normally works, I end up bugging him. I've been playing Fallout 6 pretty much lately and they fixed many of the bugs with there to start. Only one quest bug that I encountered. Yeah, the multiplayer doesn't work in a way I would want it to. So it just doesn't grab me. Like, if you've got a quest together, like in AO, let's say, and probably most MMOs, you can both do, or a group of you could do the quest together. Whereas in Fallout 76, you get to a quest stage and one person talking to an NPC doesn't affect anybody else and everybody else has got to take a turn at talking to the NPC each and every time that's required. Whereas, you know, that there's only like a couple of stages in a quest that's needed in a proper multiplayer like an MMO. So you couldn't like, just, mm, no. Nah. It doesn't... Even when they offered it free for a weekend, I was like, no. <laughs> you know, I didn't even want to try. I mean, some of the memes were funny, but then the marketing and everything else was handled horrifically badly, and they deserved a lot of crap for that. 
because you know there was the the duffel bag thing which was glorified shopping bag <laughs> what's this celebrating the 29th yeah what the what's the 29th okay i don't get what the 29th is looks cool but i don't know what it is stuff like this is oh i see and there won't be many memes today as imager is freaky they about everything so stuff like this lands on top picks first one that i felt was safe for tweet it's not really yeah i don't know if i'd call that a great meme i think you've delivered a lot better ones than that to the channel gamble zero 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 seven welcome to the stream 29th they decided everything gets upvoted on image all oh, right so it's just some crowd botting bullshit okay that's a shame for them It's like they don't understand what keeps their platform running. It's not bullshit. You know, stuff like that does not um, work in their favour. The way I see their platform working. Im Imager works because it's like cheap, cheerful, free little hosting thing. Funny things get shared a lot, so ads get served to lots of people. I'm trying to force that, I'm trying to force a meme. Oh, death sentence. Don't do it. It was like the Crankies, which were a little-known um, UK club act. A, a man and wife, uh, where the wife was quite small and had, you know, kind of impish features, I suppose. And she would play, pretend to be the son. Um, but they would do quite adult, tongue-in-cheek humour. And it was, you know, it was typical beer bingo and chips 1970s kind of holiday camp stuff and she had a, a catchphrase which was fan davy dozy okay which is the whole bart sim you know this is before the simpsons were even a twinkle in matt groaning's eye um and you know they every time they delivered the line hey fan dabby dozy people would be like hey did the line you know like go on say it but <laughs> say the line um and then it got tired people got fed up of it so they tried to force a new line and you know i've oh, got a new one now hubba dubba doobie and everyone just went hubba what oh, what it just fell completely flat didn't work something that was uh, you know creatively just a freak accident inspirational thing worked but when they tried to force it they weren't good enough writers to figure out what made it work in the first place so when they tried to force it it didn't work um and it just totally fell flat like the story in the simpsons is basically the story of the crankies a little known 1970s early 80s comedy duo act they were a bit crap really they were by today's modern sensibilities they were a load of crap but in the 70s we thought they were funny we thought they were good you know it's as simple as that and the simpsons just kind of told the story but made it bart simpson saying i didn't do it it's the same basic story you know it's the i didn't do it boy hey say the line so when you try and force memes to be funny or you, or popular, it doesn't work. They're, they're popular because people click with them. And it's very difficult to... Only really clever comedic writers can come up with that kind of idea. It's a, it's a gift. Most of the time, it happens by pure accident. Imager was made basically by one person who wanted images on Reddit without ads. The site that now runs out. Oh, I need these, don't I? Sealed container food stuff. That's what I've been looking for in the chests and mobs, by the way. And thus far, I've found but one. Yeah. 
I should have kept using the first line until it's funny again. <laughs> Simpsons, a lesson Simpsons learned, yeah. I don't know, is the Simpsons any good? Is it is it just worn out now? They went kind of a bit politically correct with it, didn't they? Oh, we, you know, we've got actors from different ethnicities playing actors of characters that do are apparently of a given ethnicity. That's not right. We're not. We're going to change it. And it's like it's it's acting. It's pretend. It's make believe. I, I get what you're sort of saying, but at the same time, you know, you may be taking it a little seriously. I don't know. I, I don't know. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Un... what? Un... Uncle Dandy has reached enlightenment. Congratulations. I read that straight away and went, no, that, I'm misreading that. Nope, that's the guy's name. Do they have strong and weak seasons? I used to binge watch the, like, Halloween ones. I used to find them quite funny. 100% we can take out more death with a bit more death. It's like me, I never said ICC, where frame rates go to die. I never said that thinking, oh, people will love that line. I just said it. And, you know, I just went ICC and like almost sighing. And then thought, you know, where frame rates go to die. I said it once, and then people picked up on it. And then in the next video, I went through ICC and didn't say it. And people went, you didn't say it. You didn't say the thing. But what, what, what do you mean I didn't say the thing? What thing? What do you mean? There's a thing? I've got a thing now? What the hell are you talking about? The thing. He said the line. And I'm like, I have a line? What am I, Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> so, uh... Okay, if you think so. I, I, I had no concept about that at all. Honestly, that was just a completely random thing I said. I say daft and sometimes amusing things, and that just happened to be one of them, and then people just, you know. No, you, you, you have to say it every time you go. And then the amount of times people would send me a tell saying the line, but saying it wrong. <laughs> I, so I asked others what they think at the bottom of this tree. What do you think? Bottom of a tree. I don't know what's at the bottom of the tree, but I don't want to be down there with it. If you have a line, you need a theme song and a cape as well. <laughs> a theme song and a cape. Yeah, that works. Oh, good God. All right, let's whiz back to the garden. I could maybe do... I could come up with a theme song. A cape? I don't know. Would a, would a bathroom towel do? <laughs> Did you not do that as kids when you played Superman or something? Tuck a bath towel into the sides of your T-shirt or your pyjamas? No, just me. Okay. Balrog, obviously. <laughs> uh, something like that how did we do with rye search that's getting there slowly but surely uh, I don't know if I've actually got time to do another mission being honest guys yeah you see this is the frame rate with the ray tracing on I'm going to turn it off now so what are we on 52 I turn it off there you go 58 so I lose a few FPS, but nothing like as much as I did. Or just a, a Balrog, obviously. You shall not. It's the delivery that makes that line. The li Isn't the line, is that's Tolkien. Tolkien wrote the line, but um, it's the delivery of the line, the intent in, in the voice and everything that absolutely makes that line work. You know, you just any any mere mortals doing it. Ian McKellen does it. Tons of Shakespearean acting, um, theatre acting, etc. 
behind him. Uh, the fact that he's a brilliant actor anyway, and he just delivers the line, and it's just like, wow. You know, I grabbed a bed cover. I'm a big boy. <laughs> yeah. And then we got another meme. I've seen some good ones lately, but... Junior Carbon Developer. Google's Carbon Program Language aims to replace C++, my broadband. One day they unveiled a new programming language called Carbon on Tuesday, 19th of July, 2022. Which is uh, environmental re experimental replacement to C++. Oh, I see. Yeah, the yeah the two one of these things doesn't belong here. Can you see that on chat? Hang on. There you go. Junior carbon developer, 120 to 160k a year. Must have 10 years of carbon experience. No exceptions. C++ doesn't count. Must have 10 years with AWS and React. Knowledge of Photoshop strongly preferred. Google unveiled the new program language called Carbon on. Tuesday, the 19th of July, 2022. It's going to be slightly difficult to have experience in that. Only time travellers should apply. Yeah, exactly. Hogmark. Holy cows, I'm logged into AO on my old account from 2011. Yay! Welcome back to Rubicar. Where are you on Rubicar? Junior with 10 years, yeah. Go on, Hogmark, where are you on your logged in tune? I'll come and wave at you. They didn't specify when they want to fill that spot. Yeah, 10 years from now, is 120 to 160k a year going to be enough? I found it funny. eBay re rejected a no digest dev, said he had not enough experience with it. The guy they rejected made no just language and engine. What? Fleabay, what are you doing? Go home, Fleabay, you're drunk. Hogmark, where where are you on your tune? I will come on my may on my old main and say hi. Yeah, there's another one like that. Um, a few instances where that sort of stuff. put it is one of the funniest screen grabs i've ever seen um i have so many images it's stupid a lot of them are thumbnails for videos as well so i'm in omni trade i guess go to borealis <laughs> and i will come wave it was at the beginning of the pandemic, it was. Um, and people were saying stuff about um, a certain Stephen King novel. One of them on Twitter. And he, he sort of retorted saying, no, it's nothing like that. Blah, blah. I'm not sure if I can find it now. Yeah, there's some good ones I'll share with you. Hang on. Here's one. Someone sent my way. It's a bit, you know, a bit controversial maybe, but I'll share it anyway. 
replies, Philip Betaham. Apparently this guy, this video is misleading, possibly deliberately so. There are some people born with Y chromosomes who are female, uh, and it is not that, that rare to say so is not leftist. You just need a further education in genetics. Further, there are people born intersex. It's genetic. Yeah, this is a thing. And then someone replies, you look like a nice guy, Philip, but she is a paediatrician. And he just replies, and I am the president of the International Genetics Federation. Hang on. Uh, I don't want to break it, but... <laughs> Mic drop. Um, you get them on both sides, though, to be fair. Where's the Stephen King one? This was really funny. Oh, please let me find. That's Mrs. Carlos 2, one in a lift home. Hey, hello. You're all done. Okay, all right, I'll end the stream and I'm on my way. Now. <laughs> I, was, I was killing time till you phoned. Say, say goodnight to the chat. There you go. Me famous. Right. I'll see you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> oh, well, we'll share more memes later. Oh, someone's morphed me. Yay. Or I was morphed. I don't know which. Right. Okay. And logging off. Night, Mrs. Gallus, to you. Yeah. yeah, so for real, guys, I has to go. She who must be obeyed has called. So, yeah. Okay, then. Thank you all for coming along to the stream. Thank you for the resubs. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the new follows. I will see you tomorrow. <coughs> Not sure what we're going to do. But, yeah. And Hogmark. Sorry, dude. She's the boss. <laughs> I'll see you in game, my dude. Okay. Right. Thank you all. And good night. <laughs>